A blessed day and welcome. This morning we'll be meditating on the book of Ephesians, chapter 5 and verse 17. Don't act thoughtlessly, but understand what the Lord wants you to do. This morning we learn that we need to avoid acting thoughtlessly or carelessly. Instead, we need to make an effort to understand what God wants us to do. Just like visiting the zoo doesn't make one an animal, going to church regularly doesn't necessarily make one a disciple of Jesus Christ. Therefore, to understand God's will for our lives and apply it daily, we need to commit to studying God's word, pray and seek guidance from wise and faithful saints. This morning, I would like to share a story that was narrated to me by another Christian. One spring, our family was driving from Fort Lauderdale to Tampa, Florida. As far as the eye could see, orange trees were loaded with fruits. When we stopped for breakfast, I ordered orange juice with my eggs. I'm sorry, the waitress said. I can't bring you orange juice. Our machine is broken. At first, I was dumbfounded. We were surrounded by millions of oranges. And I knew they had oranges in the kitchen. Orange slices garnished our plates. What was the problem? No juice? Hardly. We were surrounded by thousands of gallons of juice. But the problem was that they had become dependent on a machine to get it. Christians are sometimes like that. They may be surrounded by Bibles in their homes. But if something should happen to the Sunday morning preaching service, they would have no nourishment for their souls. The problem is not a lack of spiritual food, but that many Christians haven't grown enough to know how to get it for themselves. Precious ones, if we intend to be of use to God and His kingdom, we must make every effort to renew our minds and deepen our relationship with Him by which we grow to understand His will. Without daily meditation and nourishment, we will never be able to grow spiritually on a personal level. Only when we understand God's will personally for ourselves can we make better decisions, live in a way that pleases Him and use our time and opportunities wisely. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, help me to continue to nourish my spirit on a personal basis each and every day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Shalom. Maranatha.